going on everyone? My name is Spiders and Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon have been officially announced. So it's time to do some speculation. It's time to have some discussions about what we think the game is going to be about. Of course, we didn't get a trailer or anything. We didn't get absolutely anything from the Direct. So all we really have to go off is what we maybe might think kind of sort of might happen. Um, this video in particular is going to be centered around whether we think the new game is going to be Pokemon Gen 6.5. Or are we gonna get a full new generation in Generation 7? Um, there's been some uh, some discussion about this already. There's been some evidence that uh, could suggest either way, honestly. Uh, we don't know. Uh, honestly, Nintendo could pull us pull a fucking curveball and put Magirna in the game and absolutely nothing else. So, absolutely anything could happen. That's the first thing that I want to say. Absolutely anything could happen. We're just going to do a bit of discussion here to see what we can kind of find out and from, from previous Pokemon games and stuff and how that might affect the, the Sun and Moon. Uh, first thing. We're gonna have a look at the discussions about the the evidence sort of about Generation 6.5. Now, a lot of people have been saying that there's no way that we're gonna move on to Generation 7 just yet because it feels incomplete. And that's mostly because the the whole Zygarde situation with the different Zygarde forms. Um, we haven't seen anything about those in games or anything like that, like that, like that just yet. Uh, they had three new forms, I believe. It's the Cell form, the Dog form, and the fully super-powered, amazing final form, Frieza form. So, those haven't been in any of the games, right? Um, they haven't- they've been re uh, revealed for the movies, of, of course, and, and animes and stuff like that. Um, usually what Nintendo does is they keep the movies and anime separate from the games. So, whether we see these new forms come up in the new games, with Zygarde playing a big role in it, because there is po no Pokemon Z, sorry. There is no Pokemon Z. That we know of just yet, it, there could be at some point, but uh, that we know of just yet, there's no Pokemon Z, so whether we see these new forms come up in the new games as a different separate thing, um, maybe perhaps playing a big role in these games, or if we just see them kind of sideswiped and pushed off to the side with these new Pokemon coming in and kind of taking the limelight is something we just have to wait and see. Uh, another thing is Volcanion. Volcanion hasn't been really put into the- I mean, Volcanion is a Generation 6 Pokemon, so... To have that thing not even released yet, it is going to be the new movie with the the uh, new Pokemon Magirna. Magirna? That's the right name, Magirna. So, kind of having that kind of tie between Generation 6 and a possible Generation 7 is kind of cool, I guess. The fact that they haven't put Volcano in the game is kind of strange. If they release Volcano with the movie, what does that mean for Magirna? Like, we, we don't know. Magirna isn't in the game files for ORS or X and Y, so it's not a base Gen 6 Pokemon, we know that, but if Volcanion comes out with the, the new movie, but Magirna is nowhere to be seen, we're like, well, what's, what's going on there? We don't really know. Um, another thing is that people have been speculating that Pokemon Sun and Moon will take place in Kalos, in the southern Kalos region, um, because if you put a map of Kalos, I believe if you put a map of Kalos up against France, which is what the uh, region is based on, it only has like the the top two thirds of the map, uh, with the the bottom third being like blanked out by mountains. Just like I'm not entirely sure what it is. It's, it looks like mountains, I think, but it's blanked out by mountains. So that entire bottom half or bottom third is just non-existent. So people have been thinking maybe Pokemon Sun and Moon will take place in the southern part of Kalos, and we'll have that open up, and then we'll be able to travel back to the original Kalos, and it'll be a two-region game, or at least it'll be like one region. It'll be like one big region, it'll be, maybe we'll have like a kind of um, Pokemon Black and White 2 situation where another part of Unova opened up in Black and White 2 and you could still travel to the other parts of um, Unova that were in Black and White 1. That could be a thing that could happen. Um, there's, a, there's a little bit of evidence for that, there's a little bit of evidence for that, but uh, it's, it's, still, it's, still up in the, it's still up in the air, it's absolutely up in the air. But the evidence for a Generation 7 coming out is usually when they announce new generations, they have a one Pokemon, one or two or three Pokemon, kind of like just pushed out there like, hey, here's a new thing, look at this, what could it be? And they, they push them out and they're like, okay, and then they announce the full generation later on. Um, I'm kind of pulling, pulling, kind of pulling parallels to this uh, with Magirna and Lucario. I think it was Lucario. It was one of the Generation 4 Pokemon that was announced way before Generation 4 actually came out. I think it was, Luc it was either Lucario, Bonsly, or Munchlax? I know Bonsly was an XD Gale of Darkness. And I'm not entirely sure what the relation of that release date is to the release, the, the release date of Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, but... They usually do push out a couple of the new Pokemon, just to kind of get people excited, get people thinking about, get people discussing about, like, what it could be. And then they pull out the full generation, which is what they could be doing here with X and Y. X and Y? Sun and Moon! I'm sorry, I got the confused. Sun and Moon. That's what they could be doing with that. 
Uh, they did that with Ho-Oh in the anime as well. They pushed Ho-Oh out there. First episode of the anime, and they're like, what's this? It's not in it's not in red and blue. What could it be? And then they they pull out the rest of generation two a little bit later on. Of course, there is that whole bird Pokemon fiasco thing going on with the Nintendo Direct. There was a, a kind of like a wireframe of a bird Pokemon. A lot of people were saying it's Fletchling, but it kind of it, it doesn't look exactly like Fletchling. So people have been discussing like, what is this bird Pokemon? And we don't know. Is it a new generation six po generation seven Pokemon? Or is it just something we've seen already that we just don't quite get? I don't know. It, it, could, it could be it could be either or. It could be either or. Another thing is there was this leaked leaked list of Pokemon, and I usually when I looked at it, I was like, Nah, it's fake. It's fake. It's fake, right? It's fake. It's fake. But um, I had a bit of a closer look at it. I looked down to the, the kind of legendary area of of this leaked list, and I saw something a little bit interesting. Um, there are two Pokemon here described as the Quantum Pokemon. And the Singularity Pokemon. Now, seeing as Sun and Moon was announced, this is kind of funny because obviously Sun and Moon has to do with space. You know, it's out there. It's not. It's on planet. Neither of those things are things that exist on the planet Earth. They're they're both in space. Um, you can get. I think. Oh my God, what's the name of it? There is a field of science called quantum gravity, and there is, I believe, something called. Oh yeah. And there is something called gravitational singularity. So we have quantum gravity, gravitational singularity, and those two specific Pokemon in this leaked list. Obviously, like it's it's way up there. I honestly still don't think that this is legit, but it's something to think about here. They they're both things that relate to space in some kind of way, and we do have these two Pokemon games that relate to space. Now we can talk about space all day. We can talk about whether we're going to space in these new games like we did in Oras. Oh, that's the thing I can think about actually. Are we gonna go to space in these new games? It seems kinda it seems kinda likely. Uh, we did do an Auras. Maybe that was just kinda like a warm-up to Sun and Moon where he's fucking flying around space all day, but that's the thing you can talk about as well. I don't know, it's just a couple things to think about. I want you guys to let me know in the comment section below whether you think this is a continuation of Generation 6 because you feel like it's incomplete and there is more to be done in Generation 6, or if you think that they're just scrapping the rest of Generation 6 and going into Gen 7 because they want to start something new. Uh, it's way up there in the air. I like the discussion, though. I like the speculation. I hope you guys like it, too. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.